what can we expect from this uh, these last two medal matches? Uh, I'm, it's going to be pretty much uh, a similar show to the uh, to the women's, I believe. It's it's a it's a, it's a good sort of level playing field nowadays. Uh, but we're going to see some some high scoring uh, arrows. I think we're going to be again looking at a lot of nine, uh, a lot of tens, a lot of elevens. But, uh, I don't think lightning's going to strike twice. I don't think we're going to get such as a, a, an exciting final as we've just seen. But you never know. It's, uh, yeah, we're going to see some very strong, solid archery. Again, we've got uh, sort of uh, Austrian, Austrian Italy, I believe. Um, Certainly so is. We've got so. uh, Marco yeah. Bruno from Italy on the right uh, taking on Klaus Bittermann of Austria again. And, uh, well, I mean, there's, I don't want to say there's needle between these two teams, but we've seen them contesting the medals throughout the yeah. day the two strongest nations by far in the individual tournament for sure at these world championships we have, we have been here before today haven't we we've, uh, we've seen this multiple times uh it's it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a nice a nice strong uh, battle i think for for bronze medal i think we're gonna see some very strong shooting Are making these guys. final adjustments for the first target. So you, you gotta gotta have respect for the guy in the Batman cap. That's uh, that's confidence there. I like it. Well, we've got a lot of uh, capes uh, running around in the uh, the show members of the staff here. I wonder if the cape crusader think... can do it here. Capes need to come back. I think poor, more people should be wearing capes. I think uh, I think I might try and bring that back. Yeah. I mean, look, look at, at those that. shots! What yeah. an amazing start! going to be a close one i think i'm waiting for the scores to come in to, to clarify exactly what's what but both seem yeah look at that 11s piece that's i mean that's what you'd expect to be fair at the sort of this level of compound archery it's uh i do like to think of it as as you've got to expect them to get the 11s it's who drops the points rather than who scores them but it's uh you've got to be so calm collected just execute the perfect shot move on to the next and that's what these guys are doing i would just be terrified i would ding my bow off one of those rocks <laughs> but my bow's already got quite a few dinks in it anyway so <laughs> one more wouldn't make a difference <laughs> Well, as you can see, there's sighting, they're using the binoculars, making those adjustments again. Just on cue, we see uh, Bruno there making his, so his adjustments. It's all the, all the calculations they've got to make. They, they, they're sort of, it's, it's an art in itself. It really is. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's one I've never really mastered. I'm, I'm, my lizard brain doesn't cope with it very well. I just grip it and rip it, see what happens. But these guys are very calculated, making the right moves, making the right calculations, and just executing that shot. It's the shot they've shot a thousand times before, but you just need to do it where it counts now. Has that quite part of the equipment blanked off for uh, Bitterman? That's, that's just, a, I believe that's a scope cover. Uh, so he just so he, he, he just when he's not shooting, he'll put that over the scope just to protect it from dust and rain and things. I believe. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that before. An archer shooting with a with a cover in line of sight, basically. Well, it, it's it's outside their, their their peripheral, so they'll be looking through the, the peep sight on the string right the way through. Uh, to the scope so that that wouldn't really encroach i would have thought on you on your on your area of vision but uh you know i'm not a huge fan of sights anyway 
that's cheating. <laughs> no, I, I jest. I jest. It's not cheating. It's, uh, I'm just teasing the compounders, which is, which is, you know, should be encouraged. <laughs> I dread to look at your social media feed after this competition. <laughs> it, it, it's, 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 we, we love each other, really. We, uh, it's, it's, I, it, you know, I've, I've always said it doesn't matter if it's compound bow, long bow, recurve, it doesn't matter. As long as somebody's got a bow in their hand, we, we can be friends. But, uh, but part, of, part of the good nature teasing is, is part of the fun. And we all do it. Well, 22 plays 21. He predicted high scores. And that's exactly what we've got. So this is gonna it's gonna come down to the wire this one it's uh well this is truly you... about what you were saying isn't it the the, the, the it's about the, the dropping of points just the one from bitterman yeah. uh in the second uh on the second target w dropped one here but so has bruno so it's still a uh, a one point difference going into the final target this is yeah. on a knife edge is where that kind of mental fortitude comes in you gotta just hold it together if you if you've got a one point lead you gotta you gotta maintain that lead you gotta expect the other guy to shoot an 11 so you need to shoot an 11. Oh, those fine adjustments i just wonder what's going through the minds of these athletes they're just trying to keep it clear just stick to the job forget about the fact that there's a bronze medal up for grabs it's, it's got to be a tough position to be in for the for the bronze because the next match you're on the podium no matter what but this is this is you're fighting for podium you're either going home with something or going home with nothing and this is it's a tough tough position to be in for the third place sounded like a good shot for uh both of them both hitting a 10 by the looks of things and it looks like bruno has done this one by a single oh. point. in fact he's been marked up to an 11 for his third target so it was a two two point difference between them two. going into that both shooting 10s uh. to finish off and uh, that means that marco bruno of italy wins the bronze medal 43 to 41.